Shalom. I want to tell you a bit about STEM Cafe. STEM means science, technology, engineering, and math. In STEM Cafe, kids play with a lot of fun stuff and then you interact with different science concepts and projects and activities by exploring, discovering fun stuff. You know, you get to build things out of scrap, you make things and you make sense out of them and you express yourself and you become very creative in STEM Cafe. Let's talk about our career of the day. Our career of the day is mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineers design power producing machines such as electric generators, internal combustion engines and steam and gas turbines as well as power using machines. They also design refrigerators and air conditioning systems. Now let's talk about fun facts of kinetic energy. Fun fact number one. The well-known philosopher Aristotle studied the concept of kinetic energy. Fun fact number two. Whether an object increases speed or slows down speed, it also keeps the same amount of kinetic energy. Fun fact number three. The word kinetic comes from the ancient Greek word kinesis, which means motion. Now let's see what our kids around the world are doing. Oh, do you think it's really gonna move? No, I'm not sure. <gasps> you think we can make a car that can move at air pressure? I'm not sure, but I know who to ask. You can make a car that can move by air pressure. You're going to understand more when we make our balloon car. Let's go to our magic cabinet. Are you wondering what's going to be? Follow me. Let's go. Welcome to my magic cabinet. Now let's grab the materials we need for this experiment. Remember, everything is useful. You might want to keep all your scrap materials because you can be inventive and innovative with them. Now let's grab the materials we need for our experiments. Meet me at the workstation. Today we're going to be exploring a very exciting science project and it's called the balloon car. We'll be exploring STEM concepts around recycling, energy conversion, air pressure, force and motion. We'll be seeing how to make the balloon car with basic materials around the home and also how the air in the balloon can act as the foil that moves the car. Have you ever thought about making a car of your own that moves with a different type of foil that's different from what you see the regular cars use? We're going to be using materials such as tape, straws, skewer sticks, a balloon, a scissors, tissue rolls, and bottle tops. You can also have markers around you to decorate your car how you want. Have you ever thought about how you can reduce wastage around your home and make use of everything around you to make beautiful, useful stuff? Today we're going to be using this tissue roll to make the body of the car. You can make your car as big as this or as small as this. The first thing we want to do is to get our tissue roll. I want to make a very big car. And then you get your bottle tops that serve as your tires. Remember you can get bigger bottle tops to make bigger tires. You can also cut out wheels from cartons or cardboards to make something circular like this that saves as you will. So we're going to get our skewer sticks. Oh, this will serve as the axle for the car. So you measure about 10 centimeters. Then you make a mark. Okay. 
carefully snap it off. You might need an adult to help you with this. So we need two axles for our wheels. Then you get the same measurement of 10 centimeter. Make a mark and carefully snap it off. So you have two axles, one here and one here. Give a little space for your car. So you can make that mark anywhere here where your axles will stay. The next thing we want to do is to get our straw. Then we'll cut up just a little part. About four centimeters. Carefully. And get another one. This will house the axle for easy movement. So you have this and you have your two axles. So put this into the straw. You will notice that there's an easy movement. And then this into this. And you have an easy movement. So we get the wheels, the bottle tops. Carefully make holes into the four bottle tops. Please get an adult to help you with this. Make holes at the center. You can use a skewer stick, you can use a scissors or any sharp object to make holes at the center. When you're done with this, insert your axle into your bottle top on one end carefully. Get the second view. So you have this. You see? Do the same for the second one. This. And we have this. So we have our two wheels and two axles. I want to put it at the mark that we made on the tissue roll so you get to sell it. Carefully cut out the part of it. You can use glue for this if you have. And then place your wheel and your axle on one of the marks and seal it up. So you can see your wheels can move. That's why we have the straw. If we put this directly on the tissue roll with the tape, it will stick and it will move. So the straw allows for easy movement and motion. You want to do the same for the second one. Place it on the second mark and carefully attach this. So you can see there's an easy movement. So you have something like this. 
So you have your wheels attached to the body of your car. So you can decorate your car to make it as pretty as you want. Draw whatever you desire. You can put a bit of paper on it and use so many colors to make it beautiful. Nice. So now we want to make the engine of our car. We need two straws and a balloon. So we carefully put this together into the balloon and then we seal this place using a cell tape. Carefully cut this out. You can get an adult to help you with this. Carefully. Yeah. So we want to seal this place. Remember you have a bit of the straw inside the balloon. We want to seal this place so there's no air. There's no space for air. Secure the neck of the balloon to the straw. Have something like this. You can also make it stronger. Add more tape. Please do this carefully so you don't have any space. Yes, we have this, the engine of our car. So how is this going to form the engine of our car? You see, so let's go over this again. Remember, a tissue roll, and then you get your axles. The skewer stick serves as the axles. And the reason for the straw is for easy movement of the wheel and the axle. So this is the wheel, and this is the axle. Four wheels and two axles. Every single car has wheels and axles. And so we attach the engine of the car to the top using the tape. Touch it. You want to make sure that the balloon comes out and you have this at the back. So you're going to have something like this. Touched. You see? And I know you're thinking, how will the car move? So remember we said, we're learning different STEM concepts from this car, the balloon car. We have air pressure, we have force, motion, energy conversion, and recycling. So now, let's move the car. We'll blow air into the balloon from the straw. Hold the tip of the straw, where you have the balloon attached. Put it down on the surface and allow it to roll. Let's see. Whoa, this is big. 
Let's see if our car will roll. So remember, hold the tip of the balloon when you blow the air so that you don't have any air escaping from the straw or from any side of the balloon. And so let it roll. Oh. Did you see that beautiful car roll? What did you observe? When you held the tip of the balloon and you placed it on the surface, you'll see that the car will roll. Another thing you observe is that the air comes out of this direction of the straw and the car moves towards this direction. So the air is coming out from the opposite direction and the car is moving in the other direction. That is called an action and reaction of force. So when there's an action, there's an opposite reaction. There's an action of air coming out of the straw, there's a reaction of the car moving towards the other direction. The air in the balloon serves as the fuel for the car. That way, the pressure from the air in the balloon moves the car forward, causing a motion. Let's see how far you've learned from this experiment. Why do you think we put the axle into the straw and not directly on the surface of the car. Try this experiment at home. Drop your answers on our social media page and videos and pictures of your balloon car. Until then, keep exploring. See you next week. Bye. You can follow us on our social media platforms for more engaging content, projects and experiments. Thank you.